I am Jonathan Becker, presenting a paper that I wrote along with Joshua Griffin and Matthew Trotter while I was a graduate intern at Disney Research, passive displacement sensing using backscatter RFID with multiple loads. So the goal of our research is to wirelessly sense bands and displacement. The reason that we're doing this research is that Disney research is interested in human computer interaction. For example, suppose that I were to catch a ball. The way that the program would sense I've caught the ball is that I set my hand to essentially catch the ball and because it's able to sense that it will basically interact with me in some shape or form and doing this sensing wirelessly is a low-cost way of integrating some kind of sensor into a HCI application. Previous approaches included piezo-resistant materials and fiber optics. But the problem with these approaches is that they require extra circuitry, namely analog to digital converter and other transmitting circuitry to sense the bend, which requires more power consumption. And so what we realize is that instead of using the more power-hungry methods, we would attach a displacement sensor to a hand and wirelessly sense this displacement using radio frequency identification backscatter. Basically, as the hand bends and straightens, the system is able to detect that the hand is bending and sensing. And applications, of course, include gestural interfaces like the ball catching one that I just described, as well as virtual reality and motion capture. So here is a diagram of our three state RFID tag setup. On the left, you have an RFID reader which transmits a continuous wave to an RFID tag which essentially switches between two of the three states at any given time. And one of these states is a displacement sensor whose impedance that we want to determine, which is also associated with a reflection coefficient gamma b. And then as, as the tag is switching between the two of the three states, it backscatters a wave whose amplitudes and phase basically basically depend on the state that the tag is currently in. Now the problem with this setup in general is that the channel is not known beforehand and the antenna separation can vary with time because the person can be moving around in the room. And so what we came to realize is that we needed three states. And the reason that you need it is that in typical RFID applications you have two states that the tag will switch between. One is an unknown state and the other is a known state, typically a microwave open circuit. But the problem is, is that the channel state is unknown. So what you have is your a classic one equation, two unknowns problem which cannot be solved. And so what was realized by Captabella et al. is that you could essentially add a second known load, in this case a microwave short circuit, and once you have that, you're, now you have your two equations and two known, you know, two unknowns, and you can factor out for the channel state and solve for the variable load at any time without knowing the channel ahead of time. Now, our contribution is not you know, the knowledge that you need to know, you need to have three states to do this. Where our contribution lies is the application and demonstration of this method for a gestorial application. And so here is a sketch of our hand-mounted transducer. On the left you see two parts of the transducer, basically a straight part which has a Microsoft trip line underneath it, which I will show a picture of later in the, in the presentation, as well as a, a piece of metal that is 
wrapped around the index finger. And of course, the other image shows the hand in the bent state. And so our first step in this research was basically to do a prototype demonstration followed by precision measurements afterwards. And so this is basically what you see here. And so basically what you see what I'm doing is you know, I'm bending my hand, my finger back and forth, and you can see that the displacement is changing. And so what the system set up is basically a prototype proof of concept where I have a receiving antenna, which is also simultaneously the transmit antenna that transmits a continuous wave. And the tag is basically bending, the tag is basically switching between two or three states at a given time. And the first set is basically switching between the two known states. And then after it does that, measurement and then switches between the known and unknown. And from that it's basically able to determine the impedance of the displacement sensor on my finger as I'm bending my finger back and forth. Okay, so once we did our, again remember that the previous video was a proof of concept system that although it was connected to a power supply, it's something that could be ultimately developed into a passive RFID tag with the charge pump so it doesn't need a battery. And so next we wanted to do precision measurements with a tag and so here's a picture of our tag with the microstrip plate and the cover plate on the side for reference. And then Basically, I show an image you know, basically from figure four from our paper that shows the microstrip line and the cover plate, which is attached to a pipe that's connected to a, a precisely controlled precision motor. And so this is a picture of our setup. You know, this bit. Picture of our setup, again, displacement sensor here along with our RF, the RF switches and our tag antenna. And so these are, again, this is you know, what we see in the paper. And then here are basically the results. And so the metal plate offset is basically the distance between the metal cover and the microstrip line. And then antenna separation is basically the separation between the two antennas. And because what we wanted to see was basically show that the method would be able to correctly sense a band without, and regardless of where the antennas were in relation to each other. And what you see here is that there's basically a few millimeters of usable space, and there is a little bit of difference in the absolute magnitude, but you notice that if you were to compare relative magnitude, it, the distance basically does not matter. And so in conclusion, we demonstrated a 5.8 gigahertz RFID tag. And we built a proof of concept system of what would ultimately be a passive tag, which was what makes our approach unique, is that it would be a passive tag. So thank you for your time and any questions.